start again. John Carollo, you've been doing this since 1970? Yeah, 46 years. 46 years, huh? Can you give me the short version of the, the original Carson men that came through? The short uh, well, version? Carson and Fremont that came through. Yeah. And then later years, the uh, same mountain and led wagon trains over the Sierras to California during the gold rush. So they knew the way through the passes. What year was that in? You remember? Well, yeah. Carson and Fremont was uh, 18, uh, probably 44. 1844. Yeah. And that's something. You know, when I uh, ski at Kirkwood, the backside in there, they show where the wagons crossed. I says, how did they do? Because, I mean, I'm up 10,000 feet cutting through there on skis. It's amazing. They laid, they cut wood down, and they laid almost like a, a wooden trail. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. how they got up over all that, huh? They got over that thing. The Mormons did that first Yes, time. yes. And, they, Hi, baby. and they, they laid trees down and branches and, and cut their own trail. Right on. Pretty much what Carson did, too, over the past they go back every day, they stay at the hot springs there. They go over and they lay so much. Grover City day. and hot springs yeah. in there, okay. And they stay at the hot springs to stay warm and, 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 and then they go out and do a couple miles each night. Right on. And they cut the wood and everything during the day and, and that's how they did it. That's how they got over, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. Cool. And when they finally got to Southern Fort, the mountain and the buckskins were all rotten and tattered and, and Sutter took them in and gave them fresh horses and new, and new clothing and everything else. Wow. But they were just. They started off with almost 100 horses and things like that. When they got to Sutter's Fort, they were down to, I think, less than 40. Now, how many hours are you guys going to total ride on this uh, this this trip? Well, the see, total. we pulled out yesterday. We went uh, 9 to 2. Okay. Today we're going probably... That's 6. Probably today will be 8 to 2. Okay, so that's 7. Yeah, and then tomorrow will probably be a short day because it's only 6 miles. So we go about 2, 2.5 two miles an hour. So that's still going to be 10 hours. Is that the end of it tomorrow? No, then we have the big parade on Sunday. So you're going to have a good 10, 12 hours in the saddle. Oh, yeah. That's all right. You know, right on. You look good. It, uh, it feels good. Pull that uh, knife out and give me a shot. That looks good. I wish you had your old guns out. Oh. I have my great, right on. I have my great grandfather's 1864 Model 30, Model 94 3030 uh -huh. still in premium shape. Octagon barrel from 8. It was Indian gun, 1864. I have it. That's quite early. And I have his uh, stagecoach shotgun also. Winchester's. All right. It's my watermelon cutter. Watermelon cutter? <laughs> Great for watermelon. Right on. End of the trail, we always have a nice watermelon. Now, are you guys, uh, you wearing buckskin there, it looks like? Yeah, we're part of the Kit Carson Mountain Man Club. And uh, been around since 1937. 1937. John Wayne, John Ford, Ronald Reagan, they're all members of our club. That's great. Yeah, and they kept them, we keep the Western tradition alive. It's good to see. The wagon train is the greatest recruiting mechanism for two mountain men. Well, Sarah and I, she's around here somewhere, young reporter. There she is. We've been uh, working with um, the wild horses, the wild mustangs in Nevada. We're doing some real big stuff on that right now. There have been wild mustangs rescued here and actually put on wire wagon trains. Well, we are a big advocate for that and got some big stuff coming out. Keep watching. Okay. We, we, uh, I interviewed Lacey Dalton. She was in concert here. Yeah. What a great lady last week, and she really opened she her eyes up. Here? Right here. And I And your name again, please. Okay, I'm Marie Schofield. Just right there. Okay. And tell us your story, Marie. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it would be probably the wagon train story. We uh, went on the bicentennial wagon train in 76, celebrating our country's 200th birthday. And we went from California to Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And wow. we had a team of mules, Belgian draft mules, and the male, the mules were red mules. And we, after going across the country for six months and going to Valley Forge, we saw the country and we said, Amador County is the best. So we came back to Amador County and we named our ranch Red Mule Ranch after our mules. How cool is that? <laughs> now, what was year wonderful. was that when you got to Amador County? We got back in, well, it be 77 when we 77. Came back. Yeah. And how long did the whole trip take again? It took us six months, and we went uh, the, basically the Santa Fe Trail, then over the Appalachian Mountains into Valley Forge. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. What a great story. It was great. It was a wonderful, we've got a wonderful country. Yes, we do. <laughs> Thank you for sharing and doing all this. We really yeah. enjoy it. I've enjoyed chasing the airplane a little bit. I tried not to scare those horses. <laughs> we've enjoyed looking at you up there, Good. too. Good. <laughs> all right. Thank you.